it's I, th I think I'd, I'd, I'd quite like to make a, to make a start, if that's okay with everyone. <laughs> He's trying to raise the tune. How's the folk up in Aberdeen? Hello. Hello. You hear this okay? Sit down here, you. Good job. 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 Yeah. Okay, um, for those of you who don't know, I think you know, uh, my name is Ian Thompson and I have the, the pleasure of chairing the Board of Trustees and I'd like to um, welcome everyone to uh, Sea Change, the annual general meeting. So we're going to have a little, a little bit, um, we're all going to be sitting in the same room for most of, most of the time, just now we're sitting here as the annual general meeting. And then we'll have an open board meeting where we'll get some uh, presentations on uh, two, as two important aspects of what's happening at Sea Change. And then we'll finally we'll go into the closed board meeting, not because of uh, anything that's just it's the board and stuff. That maybe that's really. <laughs> that's <laughs> but, that's uh, fairly early, early off the only. <laughs> <laughs> so we have, um, just again, for inter we, if we maybe just. Uh, the board members would just like to like to introduce themselves to, to people so they know. So Okay. Wendy Henderson on the board. Uh, Mom Chapman on the board. Well we'll introduce uh, John and, uh, John Kane on the board. And Matthew Quinn on the board. <laughs> <laughs> All board. All this board. is kind of the, the board members and, and round the table we have uh, Tom not Tom Hand who's thinking about becoming a board member. We also have uh, Marion, who's our intended in auditor and financial expert. And <laughs> I'm, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure what you're doing today. I was, I was going to try and say whether you're taking minutes or not. I'm, I'm projecting. You're projecting. Projecting is And if you're projecting, are you a minute? I'm minute and I'm Doreen. And I'm Doreen. <laughs> and, uh, and, and David, who is our lucky charm. Yes. <laughs> so um so what we'll, what we'll do um what we'll do we'll at the 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 sorry? No. What do you no. Oh, oh, oh. Everybody knows Sam, don't they? <laughs> 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 Yes, it is. And you've got a G. And and G. Okay, so um, the main the main business of the annual general meeting is to is to report on the annual report, which includes our, our financial kind of financial mm -hmm. performance and some the other bits of performance and some of the some of the kind of plans for years. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask uh, Marion to do a review of the previous year's accounts. Um, I will then do a kind of like a, a brief summary, I think, of the kind of key activity um, from the kind of point of view of the board, then we'll open up the discussion. So, okay. Marion, do you want to? Do people have a copy of the uh, so it's been posted up on base panel for board members to, to review our chair. Okay, we'll try and save the rainforest. That's <laughs> all right, that's all right. Um, I'll just very briefly talk about the, 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 the charity then. Um, the charity is a, a limited by guarantee company as well as controlled by charity legislation, so we have to report under two lots of governance, both for Companies House and for Oscar, the Scottish charity regulator. And what you have on your uh, base camp is a full set of accounts with a very detailed trustees report. Um, and I always say with charities accounts, I think that's one of the most important places to look at is what's in the trustees report, because that's where you've actually laid out what the objectives of the charity were, all the things that you've done in the year, which are very, very extensive, and your plans for the future and what it is that you plan to do. Um, the charity has um, had significant growth in the current period and at the um, financial activities pages we can see that your income now totals just over £4 million which is including the first full year of Aberdeen. We had part of Aberdeen 
in 2014, <laughs> low Aberdeen, uh, and uh, a full year of Aberdeen in 2015. Throughout all the accounts, um, you talk about restricted funds and unrestricted funds, and the important point there is just as uh, is expanded in the trustees' report, is that because your funds are received for individuals and for the care and support that you're providing to individuals, they're treated as restricted funds and used specifically for the individuals and that's reflected throughout all of your accounts. And on occasions we have to use unrestricted monies to support the restricted fund activity and that you've had to do in this year. So the charity's effectively used its own resources to support the delivery of services um, and all of that leaves us with, at the end of the year, we have restricted funds of 262,000, which is because the year end is not coterminous. And again, this is mentioned in the trustees' report, um, where uh, there's reviews of services, that it's the anniversary of that date, not 31st March. So things don't fit in as neatly as they used to be, do before we had self-directed support. But it's reflecting what you're trying to do and not being hide bound by accounting rules and regulations. Overall, the charity in this year has a, a surplus of 261,000, and that's come from a lot of the reviews that you've done to manage uh, the, the resource that's coming into the charity and how that's being utilised and, and spent. And I know you've been working carefully on plans for the future. As the charity is in, as you well know, a sector that's under continued pressure financially, um, so future years it's expected that things will continue to be tight for the charity and utilising its reserves. Um, overall at March 2015 the charity has reserves of 967,000 and these are tied up primarily in uh, debtors, money sitting in the bank and the creditors that you owe. All of these are standard timing, when have you raised an invoice, when do you get paid for it. Um, and some of the local authorities are a wee bit slower in paying than others, hence the level of debt is that you're always carrying. Um, if you look at the reserves of the charity, there's again commentary in the trustees report about the level of reserves that is held and why that's necessary. And if you look alone at the staff costs, which run at just over £3 million, then you can see why this level of reserves is important for the stability of the charity going forward. The rest of the accounts have got lots of notes and details explaining and expanding figures and I'm happy to answer any particular questions that anybody has. Um, our audit report, um, the important point is the opinion paragraph where we confirm that we believe the accounts give a true and fair view and that everything's been properly prepared under the relevant legislation and I'm happy to report that we're uh, happy to sign off the report on that basis. Um, I would like to... Uh, Thank Sam and the rest of the team, in particular the finance team, for their assistance during the course of the audit. You've had quite a number of changes uh, during the year and we've worked with your team to pull everything together and to work with them on this and uh, uh, assisting where we can. Um, but it is very useful from an audit point of view to have the ability to come in and speak to people and we do interrupt the flow of work and people find the information that we are looking for. And there aren't any points that I would want to bring to your attention at, at this time. And I'm happy to answer any points that anybody has on the particular figures. And I will, of course, be available at the board meeting. You can get me the board. You know you want to. You, you, you know you want to. Is it all the legit cushion above board? <laughs> 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 I would be disappointed if you didn't ask me that. <laughs> Okay, well, um, if people have any, anything come, come up there, I just want to um, talk just a little bit, I think, about some of the kind of the performance. That, that this is a, the report is, the accounts are also, the financial accounts are also a report on, of the trustees. And I think it's going to be worth pulling together some of, the, some of the highlights and some of the things that we want to acknowledge from the board, you know, to the, to the kind of the, the, the organisation as well. Um, most of this is actually it's, it's included. I've just kind of done a summary of about ten pages and, and mm -hmm. the, kind of some of the key key points there. And I, and I think in one way that the, the the general feeling is that the performance has been quite impressive, almost exceptional in the in the kind of like the the, the harsh economic context at which the kind of the social care 
finds itself in also a period of, of kind of substantive tra of substantial transition with new legislation coming in. Um, and in particular, the, the implementation of self-directed support, which in one way is, is I suppose it's quite, a, it's quite a good thing because it's, it's like the rest of the world catching up with sea change mm -hmm. in terms of like the philosophy that the organisations had from the very beginning is about kind of like self-directed support and, and empowerment for the people that we work, work for. Um, so there is a kind of a major change coming in and I think that the, the that <laughs> if it was properly financed, it's kind of quite a major opportunity because it's actually given individuals much greater control in the design and how they can design and delivery of, of their of their care package. Um, and as I said, it, it's that that kind of like that philosophy is something which is, is, is closely aligned with with what C chains want to do. So I think as an organisation, we're quite well placed to kind of to, to move forward into the, into that environment. With caveats, obviously, <laughs> with the, the financing that, that, that actually goes on. I think the other, the few other things that have happened is the restructuring of the workforce uh, towards locality working means that we're actually kind of, as an organisation well placed to kind of to meet the, these new demands and also to deliver, if you like, um, efficient kind of like efficient, nimble and effective kind of like care packages to. Uh, to the communities, to the localities, and I think it, particularly the, the the development of Al Aberdeen is, is kind of moving. It's no longer a Glasgow-based organisation. It's now kind of like becoming a, a, a kind of a national. North uh, as well. Yes, they count as a country. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but I think that's 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 the kind of the structure which, again, I think we have to acknowledge from the board of trustees that we. Kind of commend the efforts of the staff, the, the the ability to actually to make such a radical change, to allow that to happen. It's not been without pain, mm -hmm. and and actually I think we want to kind of to the board to, to note that, and uh, and I think to to recognise the the efforts that actually the, the staff have actually gone gone into there. And um, I think we also have to recognise the impact of our friends from the north. I mean, from a from a from almost a standing start to becoming. Almost a, a third of the a third of the activities in a year is in, incredibly impressive mm -hmm. in terms of what's actually that's actually been a, achieved, and it's opened up a new almost a new <laughs> frontier of care um, that uh, in terms of the delivery and, and, and a massive kind of potential for the kind of the, the, the spirit and the level and the quality of care and the, and the philosophy for them to kind of to kind of like expand to all the places where it, where it should be. I think the 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 way in which uh, Sea Change has has actually kind of like worked with um, local authorities, local authorities with national governments and policy institutes again has been quite impressive, and the the ability to influence policy and to be recognised as best practice, not just in one area, but I, I think in about four different areas in the last year, where Sea Change has been acknowledged as being kind of like highly innovative. And, and let's go for a small organisation that's based in Govan, the, the you know the extension of things and recognise things like case studies in human rights, the, the dates and mates, the all of all of the things that have actually been been on uh, so ongoing, which actually marks the change out as I think as a, as a significant contributor, not just to people who work for, but for the policies and the, and the rest of the communities there. I think again, as a from from the speaking on behalf of the board. And hopefully, from the people that have worked for, I think we'd like to take this opportunity to thank the staff mm -hmm. for all that they've all they've actually achieved. Because you know, for a for a relatively small amount of money, for a small staff to achieve what's what's actually mm -hmm. been been in, and that's building on a on a, a long record of, of kind of uh, of uh, significant achievements and advancements. And I think that to be able to maintain innovation over such a sustained period again is is well worth the note. So again, I think we should go. The, the board should be welcome to all. Of them. I mean, and I think it, you know, there's there's lots of other things in terms of the impressive, um, if you like, there's the maintaining a lot of, of the things we do. I think the developments in the communication and the web pages are worth a note. 
the uh, talk of the tune seems to kind of continue to go on. I think the Improvement Council again has been, um, you know, sort of like again, thanks to Matt, but I mean, it's it's now, I think more act more active than it than it's ever been. In terms oh of yes, yes, yes. I was up in Aberdeen last week. JP, up with John Paul, yep. the facilitator, folks, and the chair of the of the the board, uh, the Green Council. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> yes. So um, I mean, I think I think that's been a that's 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 been a. Oh a, yes. And we did have a you know we were a little bit concerned that it was going away, but again stepped up. There's a lot of effort in, and now I think it's a I think it's a very important, almost critical part of. The board is to have the improvement council and to have representat representation from people who work for on the board is is really important and it does and if anyone's really sort of like you can look at the kind of the, the board minutes and you can see how the issues that are raised from the improvement council actually kind of like carry carry their way through into board discussions and into and the, and into kind of like actions as well. I think that, uh, some other some of the audits we've come from outside have, have made very positive comments about the about the role of that, and I think that again we you know, have to have to recognise that. <coughs> and uh, you know, there's been you know a few uh, a few other kind of problems that we've had we've had to deal with to do with the financial uh, financial situation, but. Um, I think we're <laughs> possibly there's a lot to go into, but you know. We have to recognise again this this the the the, 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 the restricted set of resources that we actually have to deal with, and the pressures that our other partners have and other organisations in actually dealing with it, and have to find a way to, you know, see change in some ways is in the middle, advocating and working in partnership, in a in a in a construct in as, as as constructive and engaging way as, as actually possible. I think again that that philosophy of engagement again is something which we want to kind of maintain and to kind of to build to, to build for the kind of the success of the organisation. So it's been a it's been a difficult year. It's been a kind of a, a troubled year, but it's been some you know in terms of the the, the the bread and butter delivery of high quality service to individuals, I, I think has been has been maintained and if not improved. The reports from the Care Commission, all the external ones, again, are recognising a very high level of performance, um, and we've made some some big impacts on the on the policy agenda here. So, you know, <coughs> we can be a little bit pleased with ourselves, I think. <laughs> um, and just like to, to open open up to any kind of questions on any of the the kind of the performance. Are we having a party? <laughs> Not today. Not today. There's a tea, there's a tonic. There's a tonic skin. What more are you looking for? So I suppose I just really want to open up with any questions on any of the the financial issues or any of the, the achievements that we've actually kind of like uh, made this year and any of the kind of the plans for next year. Aberdeen. No, I, I, think, I think maybe next time think about maybe presenting it in an easy read format in advance so that we could run over it with people because it's quite a lot of information to take in. Um, but it's really useful to hear. But I think maybe next time if we can we can get like a, a brief summary to go over with folks maybe in the half hour beforehand because it's quite hard to maybe come up with questions on the spot. But okay. Good point. Yeah. Yeah, no problems. We will, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do that to get the, um, the kind of the report maybe set. Yeah. I think one of the problems is that this is including their formal report that has to be approved by the, by the AGM yeah. before we can release it. But we can actually um, take an extract of that and then circulate it around beforehand. So thanks, so thanks for that. It would be a note of the trustee report yeah. rather than the formal trustee report. Thanks, yeah. Alistair. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I assume we're happy to approve the report and the financial num financial numbers. Uh, I'll be, I take it we're approved in the Monday one for the next year. Or yes, we're, we're going to come to talk about the the minutes now. So the. This, um, we're going to do the signing, aren't we? At the yeah. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Just when it's easy to break the flow, I suppose. Mm -hmm. um,
the minutes have been made available? The, the minutes, uh, we just need a signatory on, I mean, again, we could do this at the, the, the yeah. board yes. meeting, signing off the AGM. One thing we did want to um, show you was, um, we've got, have you got it? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. We've got the, sorry guys, up in Aberdeen, I don't know how we get you to be able to see this. Put the camera on it, can we? Or can, can we put the camera on it? I don't know if we do. Sure. On the screen? Put the camera on. All right. <laughs> we just wanted to show you we've got the annual, uh, the annual report. So, what, what Ian's been talking to is the, kind of, is the statutory accounts, but then we try and do an accessible annual report. and. Um, David, who is one of our, no, I lie, Gary, who is one of our wonderful okay. volunteers, has um, been working on a, what looks like a kind of cartoon version, a comic book version of an annual report. So, uh, will I turn, I'll see if I can turn the lights off. Yeah, Gary, that's too much better. It'll be electronic. Because um, you'll need to move through it. Because I'm moving up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, so uh, we will make this available to you, but we just wanted to give you a quick preview of it because again, um, it's it's not quite finished. There's going to be hyperlinks in it. Can you scroll through it, Lynn? Mm -hmm. um, no. Scroll. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'll make you see if I can try. We can get these. We'll make an Aberdeen see so. It's because you're pressing the right one. You need to press the left to go down. Yeah. One of one of the I things that uh, is the development of ICT and IT and IT engagement skills. We've got money put aside in the budget for next year. Don't worry. <laughs> Just a technical hiccup, folks. Right, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you have all the characters. There you go. So, 
Uh, generally, uh, it'll be um, in, available in the electronic format, and there'll be um, hyperlinks to the different stories and things, so you can just go and get more more detail on it. Um, but I really would say um, just, uh, it, it's a testament to you know, the volunteers and, and folk who give their time. What did you think about it, Aberdeen? I know it was a bit of a quick whiz through. That's what you've got out in the annual report. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay. That, that was just, um, uh, Gary has been working to try and get it to us uh, so that we could at least have a preview for, for today. Um, the, uh, I suppose just in terms of Marion had, had said about the, you know, she's very kind in her words about the, the organisation, I would also say just the given the circumstances this year, we actually couldn't have got to the point of doing statutory accounts without the considerable help of Harry Caldwell and, uh, and you know, particular uh, colleagues. Mm -hmm. And the, the fact that uh, David uh, and yourself and I were able to step in and, and, and help us um, at a critical time in the end isn't when you want a kind of change of, of key personnel. Um, it was largely down to the length of the relationship and really not just understanding the figures but understanding the way the organisation works. Yeah. So uh, truly we wouldn't have been able to have an AGM with it without the kind of support of Hard Cold this year. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Give that back to David. Yes. 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 I'm actually going to see if someone can turn the heating down <laughs> or put the air cool. Come, can you put the comfort cool? Do you know how to do this? Um, <laughs> or does somebody know? It's an unusual thing in Scotland to work out how to turn the heating down. I don't think the heating's on actually. No, it's just, it's just, just, just it's <laughs> 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 Did you really say that out loud? Only because it's up. No, it's been the the Okay, um, another, so just a, another um, administ well, it's, it's a quite important thing is that uh, <laughs> that uh, we have the office bearers off, off the kind of board of trustees, and I think there is only one, which is the chair of the board, and um, any nominations for anyone else to take over the role? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Happy continue as as we are. Yeah. Okay. As long as you're happy. I'm, I'm, I'm eternally happy. He's a hot man. Oh, oh my God! God. Oh, God. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'd be more than happy to carry on to, to cheer the board. Is that a great vote? Yeah. Yes. Yes, good, right? Okay, and I think the... You're not doing a vote. Yeah. No, I'm not. Margaret was vice, so we're just keeping her stance as well. Yeah, keep her in vice, is that what you're saying? Vice, Jerry. Okay, um, and the, the, thing, the final, final piece of official business is the reappointment of the auditors. Are you happy with that? Uh, I'm happy being on the board, aren't you? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, definitely, yes. <laughs> So again, so we're happy to, to reappoint auditors, yes. yeah, like, and again, echo um, Sam's Sam's kind of uh, thanks for the for the help this year, and again also to the finance team as well. So. Mm -hmm. And that's us. Any other business? Anybody? Any other issues people want to talk about? Okay. Have okay. you put the date in your diary for the twelfth of Ju twelfth of July? I'm walking. Yeah. I always remember that, that a, a famous Glasgow advocate got his got one of his uh, friends not to go to jail because he said on the twelfth of July he'd be out on a walking holiday in Northern Ireland. <laughs> 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 uh, <Yes. laughs>
Okay, 12th of, 12th of July 2016. Yep. Okay, right, so we, will, we are now no longer the AGM. And yeah. we are now the board, open board. We're now in the open board. And which one are we going to?